Tell you what guys, makes you laugh, doesn't it? I told the salt agent about an hour ago when he come in that the sink were leaking and I've still not had a plumber in. Now look at it. Fucking all over the floor. And I can't turn it off because oh hey look, I think this was that fuck off. Hey, all up the fucking casings and the MDF frames. MDF frames, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. And I can't turn it off because it's pissing out there. Out that drainage uh, valve, whatever it is. I can't turn it off. So, what do you do? I don't know. I told the SART agent already, over an hour ago. Now it's fucking all over the floor. Don't give a shit, do I? Wankers. Oh, that's what it's all about, isn't it, eh? Doing your cheese toasties on the heater provided. Lovely. I tell you what, guys. I'm on this building site doing some snagging. And these houses around here are about 300 odd thousand. Would you really want that bloody great big electric thing at the end of your garden like that? Hey, no wonder the fucking things ain't selling. I mean, that one you point near the edge of something, doesn't it? I mean, who'd want to live in that plot just there on the left? Or any of them plots, or the plot I'm in, and have to look at that thing. It looks like something on a council estate, doesn't it? Absolute madness. Hi, you guys, and welcome back to You Know Who. Hosted by You Know Who. Like, little bit of a trade secret. One of those videos they don't want you to see. Here I am in this house. It's a three bedroomed, um, semi detached, or whatever they're called. And uh, can't mention the builders for legal reasons, but they're about 170 grand. These I've just looked it up on the internet, and they're about 170 odd thousand for this three bed. And uh, as you probably know, if you certain things in these houses are extras and you've got to pay more for them and it's like nowadays if you're buying a new house it's like everything's a bloody extra you're just getting a bog standard shell for that type of money can't believe it can you so i'm going to show you one of the extras for this particular build up you're not going to believe it are you ready let me show you yeah, that's it guys, yeah. Turfing the back lawn is now an extra. For your 170 grand, that's what you get. Mud. <laughs> You've got to be fucking joking, ain't you? Hey, going off for 200 grand and they can't even turf the back lawn if you're. That's an extra, mate. You pay about two or 300 quid, quid more for that now. Or whatever it is, but it's going to be two or three hundred quid more, isn't it? That's an extra turf in your back lawn. And if I were buying one of these houses, I'd say to them, get the fucking back lawn turfed, or so I'm not buying the house. End of story. There's next door, look, you see? It's all turfed. That's an extra. And that's what it looks like before. So you're going to buy the house, and it's like that. 
and then you've got to pay to out turfed. So if I buy and there's no outs, I'd say, get it fucking turfed, because I'm not buying it, like I've just said. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, eh? Life on a construction site. <laughs> you got laughing, you got, yeah, I tell you, fucking extra grass. Can't believe it, can you? But it is, it's an extra, whether you believe it or not. So if you're buying one, just tell them. Yeah, I'm buying the house, but I want the fucking turf. Otherwise, stick it up your house. And they'll probably say, ha, fuck off then. Got loads of people to buy the house. So what can you do? So, until next time, go slow. Right guys, here's what a hinge looks like on an MDF frame. After the frame's been glossed, this is what it looks like. Due to the fact that they don't change the hinges and you've got to paint round the hinges. And bear in mind it's MDF. So if you can see there, look, verified because it's damaged slightly. And it's just impossible to get um, a clean finish on the hinges. I mean, okay, you can get them a bit cleaner than that if you want to piss about. But you know, when you're on price doing a new plot, realistically, these hinges should be dummies. Um, so you eliminate this problem of fairing on the edges, etc., and getting paint on the hinge. Yeah, here's another one, look. See, you just can't get them perfect. See that on the right hand right, right hand side of the hinge? You just can't get them perfect. Look at the bottom of that, it's just knackered. MDF, it's absolutely shit. I don't know why the builders use it. And if they are gonna use MDF frames, <coughs> they should paint over the hinges. Let me show you what a hinge looks like after it's been changed on a frame that's had dummy hinges on. Right, here you go guys, here's a hinge. It used to be a dummy and it's been replaced by a new one. Uh, frame's all gloss. And you simply change the hinge. Look how much neater it is when it's been painted previously. Give me another example. There you go, it looks a lot better when you change the hinges from dummy to new, to new hinges. Check this out, you're not going to believe it. Okay. Look at that. Dark grey pipes to the right. Normally they're done in white. Can't believe they're dark grey. It's just pure madness, isn't it? Seriously, who would mask that light off in a utility room like that? You've got to be joking, aren't you? Painters, I don't think so. Well, yeah, that's all you need on a Monday morning, isn't it? Hey, get halfway through the plot and your uh, gun snaps. Brilliant. Hey. And I've got a spare one as well, and I left it at home. <laughs> Boring. Fucking hell. Check that fucker out. Hey. Trainee electricians, instead of knocking the box back in the wall a bit more, they take an angle grinder to the plate and trim it down so it fits but idiots chargeable <laughs>